Hi, Kevin here. Well, it's a very cold Wednesday afternoon, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to fix some chili. Now, this chili is my own recipe, and it's super easy, and it's incredibly delicious. I think it's the best chili on earth, and I call it chili con fritos. Let me move you over to the stove, and we'll make a pot. All right, so I will be fixing the chili in this four-quart soup pot. It's made by Le Creuset, but any four-quart pot would do. And on goes the heat. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then when this gets warm, I'm going to add the equivalent of one diced bell pepper. And I say equivalent because uh, back in September, I purchased a boatload of green bell peppers and I washed them and chopped them up and then I froze them in these salad containers. So, very easy to do, just take a handful. Actually, that's about three handfuls. That's like the equivalent of one bell pepper. Give it a little stir. Okay. And then I'm going to saute these for, oh, probably two minutes, just until they soften up. So we'll come back. All right, the diced bell pepper is nice and soft. So now I'm going to add about two teaspoons of this garlic paste. Uh, and if you don't have garlic paste, you could use two garlic cloves, finely minced. One, two. Yeah, I just find this paste really convenient to use. Stir that in quickly. Yeah, as I said, this is a super simple chili, but it is absolutely delicious. Mr. Fox and I just love it. Okay, now I'm going to add one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And these are the petite diced. And I'm adding all of the juices as well. Stir that in. Okay, then I'm going to add some seasonings. And these are just the seasonings that I like. Okay, starting with onion powder. I'm going to add, oh, how much? About this much. We're going to call that two teaspoons of onion powder. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder, even though I added the garlic puree earlier, just because I like garlic powder and I know this works really well in this chili. One teaspoon. And then, since we can't have chili without chili powder, I'm going to add one whole honking tablespoon of it. Also going to add just a quick shot of ground cumin. I'm going to call that about half a teaspoon. And you want to stir that in. Okay. Then get ready for the next ingredient. going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. So this chili has like the perfect balance of sweet and spicy. And I am using heaping tablespoons. Actually, I'm using a soup spoon. And you'd be amazed at what the brown sugar does for chili. Just gives that, that, that special something, you know? Now, oh, what's next? Okay, 
ground beef. Now, this is ground beef that I've already cooked and drained. Uh, I drained the fat off of the beef. And I keep this in my freezer. In other words, I buy several packages of ground beef and then cook it, drain it, and freeze it. So it's ready to go. Again, that's one pound. Boy, if you like to make sloppy joes or uh, pasta bouillonnaise, it's really helpful to have the ground beef already in your freezer. Just a little tip there. Stir it in. If you have any big clumps of the beef, just break them up with a spoon or a spatula. Mine's pretty well broken up. Okay, now we have to add some beans. I am using a 15.5 ounce can of red kidney beans and all of the liquid that's in the can. All of that goes in. Alright, then I'm going to add some parsley. This is parsley from my garden. We had a big freeze last night, so uh, I ran out before the temperature plunged and I harvested the rest of my parsley and uh, minced it in the food processor. So again, about two tablespoons. If you like cilantro, that would be very nice in here. Mr. Fox does not care for cilantro, so I'm not using it. And I know this works just great with parsley. And if you don't have parsley, you could omit it. Okay, then I want you to see the liquid that has gathered in the pot. So let me grab my pot holders here. Now, can you see the liquid in there? We don't want the liquid, so the remedy is tomato paste. A, what is this, a six ounce can of tomato paste. The whole can. And the tomato paste just makes this very thick and luxurious. There we go. Stir it in. The paste will mix with the liquids. Well, it will thicken the liquids. And it will do so very quickly. Okay. And then, finally, there's only one ingredient left. Can you hear my kitty? That's Tiger. She's offering her approval of this chili. So this is a two and a quarter ounce can of sliced black olives. In they go. Just kind of fold them in. By the way, that my pot is over medium low heat. And then I'm going to turn the heat all the way down to low and then cover the pot and let this cook oh for about five minutes. That's all it needs. And then I'll come back. Okay, naturally I forgot one ingredient and that's cayenne pepper. Just a tiny amount because this stuff is pretty hot going to use a quarter teaspoon. And that's enough. Stir it in. 
And then again, just cover the pot and let it cook over the lowest heat possible for five minutes. Now, you may have noticed that I did not add any salt to this chili. That's because there's already salt in the beans and there's definitely salt in the garnish. And that is Fritos. Okay, I seem to be color coordinated here. Here's the pot of chili. Here's my serving of chili. We have a blue theme going on. And then here are the good old Fritos, which I happen to love. On they go. This is a three and a half ounce package. I'm going to put about half of that package right on my chili. Maybe I'll sprinkle some onto the plate as well. And this way, for every bite of the chili, you'll get a nice crunch of the Fritos corn chips. I'm going to have a bite right now. Wiping my mouth. You guys, this is, here fix this. This stuff is really incredible. Yeah, I had experimented during the pandemic with um, many different, you know, just kind of pantry staple chilies, my own creations. And I came upon this one. It was so dang delicious. And I made it two nights in a row. And I finally wrote down all of the ingredients because I knew maybe I would want to share the recipe with you. And I thought, eh, who's going to be interested in chili? But this is a very interesting chili. So I hope you'll give it a try someday. Thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Please tap the little bell icon to receive notifications. And please post a comment below. Maybe you have a special chili that you'd like me to try. And I do read all of your comments and I do love hearing from you. Okay, I'll see you very soon with another recipe. Bye for now. Okay, I'm back and I am still eating this perfectly perfect chili. Um, I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. And again, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.